Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing roulette perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real world and human imperfection. Today's test strategy is called 531 and was taken from the March 15, 2024 Craps University YouTube video. This appears to be a mid-coverage strategy. Professor Profit wasn't super enthusiastic about the volatility of the bet, but there are enough chips on the table to cover a large range of numbers, but few enough to allow for recovery. That is to say that this seems ideal for this channel, so I will indeed run 100 spins this session for getting progressions. Thanks to the house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.69%, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. Since I play online, I'll stick to the European game because it dominates with online casinos. There are 24 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 65% likelihood of winning on each spin. To simplify things for analysis and scaling, I've retained the professor's unit at $1, euro or pound. The bet consists of 22 units. Place 5 units each on the 1 to 6 and 31 to 36 double streets, 3 units each on the 7 to 11, 17 to 21, and 25 to 29 corners and 1 unit each on the 10 to 11, 20 to 21, and 28 to 29 splits. You will win a jackpot of 23 units if the ball lands on 10, 11, 20, 21, 28, or 29. A win of 8 units occurs when the ball lands on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, or 36 and you'll profit 5 units if the ball lands on 7, 8, 17, 18, 25, or 26. You lose your 22 units if the ball lands elsewhere. There are no partial wins or losses. As always, the chart below shows the progress of the strategy as misplayed and gives a hint at how volatile the bet is. Now let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. The 531 strategy as played was absolutely surprising and completely outperformed expectations. There were 21 jackpots, which were 5 more than expected and 32 8 unit wins which were 4 more than expected. We reached a high water mark of positive 307 units and a low of negative 22 before settling at a 284 unit profit at the end of the spins. I ran a few statistical tests on the results. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 1.3 with a standard deviation of 0.7. That means that 65% of wins happened with one or two consecutive spins and 95% within one to three spins. There was one outlier where it took four spins to get a win. I am very cynical playing roulette and expect to have my ass handed to me. My goal in playing different bets is to find ones that extend the time playing and make the game interesting. 
I ran this test three times and a gain of 284 was the smallest quote-unquote profit I obtained. The first test is done usually for me to plan the script for my summary and the second run through is what I record. This time, the second version got corrupted and I had to re-record. There is no way that this bet should be this successful. It was enough to tempt me to play with real money, albeit not a lot. I used penny units on bc.game and was up over 50 cents. I made a video of that test and the link is in the description. 50 cents is not a lot of money, but it becomes more quickly as one scales up. It was not as relatively successful as the microgaming table, but that is now for profitable runs. Do I trust this strategy and recommend it to everyone? Hell no. I don't trust and recommend any. There is just an undiscovered catch with this bet. As I have mentioned in every other video, one must keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time and some don't work at all. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Good luck until the next time.